Is there anybody here who hasn't seen Reach in the Sky? Put your hand up, anybody who hasn't seen Reach in the Sky? There's about three of you. Okay, well this is the aircraft that features in Reach in the Sky when uh, that was flying and the father intended to be the star uh, shooters. The story goes that uh, when Gene Stomp actually saw the Tiger Moth, because he was the uh, representative of the they said effectively, we could do better. They weren't quite as exact words, but uh, that was the gist of it. And he decided that uh, they would build their own aircraft, and the result was the Stomp. 35 as, it, as uh, Mark said, 35 were produced before the war, and then it looked like the Germans were going to uh, turn up, so the, the plans were actually buried. Well, it's literally buried. They were put in tubes and buried <laughs> under one of the hangars for the war. And production started again after the war. It was Leon Devoy and Michael Donnell. Michael Donnell is the boss of the French Air Force. Uh, part of the joy is the pleasure you get when you're just watching them fly. And you get the 
rocket engine flying as well. Well, it just adds to it. How do pilots who float know if you stop and the Tiger Moth compare it? They always say that the stop is a Tiger Moth plus. It's a sort of standard reaction. Uh, you have to put the handbrake on, swing it and get round and take control of the aircraft. And sometimes they don't put the handbrake on properly and they don't quite make it. And there are a of stories of various pilots in heavy climate gear to chase an aircraft across an airfield. The whole prop swing business scares the regimes out of the hotel. It really does. You just have to be careful. I did a lot of swinging for the uh, Diablo Moth Club at various charities. So these days, if you're looking to buy, then really uh, uh, the Gypsy Engine one is preferable. Uh, just to give you an idea of the budget, a new Gypsy Engine, if you were to buy it, uh, and if you can find one that's near or zero out, would be in the bracket of 32 to 35,000 pounds. So it's not Ouch. Ouch. Yeah. That's a lot of flying hours that you're not getting. There's a nice break coming up. It's easy to see why the shops are popular for graceful aerobatics. Yeah, for gentleman's aerobatics, they're ideal. Uh, the high powered stuff. I guess even a basic level in the right hands one of these things do. They're quite comfortable as well inside the cockpit. With us now, the stock team have rejoined. And looking at the positioning of the shots, I can say that they are coming in for a landing on 2 1 or coming in just ahead of the departing uh, Beyond Primary Glider and uh, Piper Super Cup Tug. You'll appreciate we work to time slots here at Oldborn to make sure that we get as many aircraft in front of you, our paying customers, as we possibly can. And so you can see as broad a spectrum of aviation as is possible. Yeah, yeah, well done, Rich. Uh, 
And I have the line and combination to the back for you. Bill's off, opted for a wheeler. No, I was going to get them away before you. Nicely done, Bill. 